So how do you apply your designs? And why do I even want to mention this? It is because a lot of people neglect the different touch points in the designs because they only think about designing for their packaging. They only think about designing for, let's say their in Instagram, but then they forget to design for their website. They forget to design for their email marketing. And when that happens, the touch points are not being taken care of. The experience that your customers are experiencing would not be full because they would be on your Instagram and it has beautiful designs. Yet when they click into the website, it is completely broken links and the images are not nice and there's just not that congruency. And what that shows is that, wow, what is happening is, are these guys a scam? That's automatically what your customers would think of. And that's the reason why you need to make sure that all your designs that you have done and created are applied to all the different touch points within your whole sales cycle. Make sure that you upgrade, update your Instagram, your website, emails, and anything else that you can think of. After that's the fact, some of the other designs such as stickers and um, your brochures needs printing. Stickers, labels, boxes, packaging, all needs to be printed. And that's the reason why right now we're gonna be covering the four points with printing. But before we do that, do not do it yourself, guys. I understand you want to go lean. You may have a printer lying at home and you're like, you know what? I want to print my own packaging, but never ever print your own packaging because it can cause so much problems, guys. Your printer could easily break. That's one. It also has poor visual quality because when you're giving an experience and you just receive something that's printed on your own paper, it just doesn't have that polished and that finished feeling altogether. And when you're running a business, you definitely need to have the full package. Also, results might not stick to the packaging uh, and the texture might be wrong whatsoever. So definitely do not do it yourself. I've seen some of my students do it themselves and it's just a complete nightmare. It just comes out completely wrong. Uh, the experience is just horrible. So don't ever do that, guys. If you're gonna do that, you might as well not do it. Now, the importance of a quality print shop. Why is it important for us to use a quality print shop when we're doing our designs? We don't wanna go with the cheapest one because they usually have more flexible MOQs. What does MOQ stand for? It stands for a minimum order quantity. And why is it important for us to have low MOQ? It is because we don't wanna be stuck with 10,000 of these brochures sitting at home. We don't, want it. we don't want that. Also, with quality print shops, they have much more accurate colorings and it feels that these guys are legitimate because there are a lot of fake uh, fake colors out there that people buy and when they print it the color is a little bit faded it's a little bit off um off what it's supposed to look like and it would just look completely cheap and if it looks cheap you might as well not do it guys and that's the reason why find a quality print shop don't go for the cheapest guys guy uh the cheapest people out there it's a very very important thing to know okay also accountability and satisfy, uh, satisfaction guarantee. A lot of these print shop, if they do something wrong, if they use this wrong color code, or if they print it on a wrong texture, they will redo it for you, even if it's at a loss. However, if you go with the not so quality print shops out there, then a lot of times they'll just push the ball back to you. They're gonna say, hey, you didn't give me the right file, or hey, you know what, it's not my problem anymore, um, check out my contract, you know? That's the reason why finding a quality print shop is so, so important, because they're gonna be, uh, they are gonna give you much better uh, results and also experience for you. So this is just an example of what it looks like if you were to print with stomp stickers. Now, where do we find quality print shops? Google local print shops, that's the, honestly, that's the best way to find print shops. And after you Google them, make sure that you, they do custom work. Um, and you can actually check out the reviews, look at the reviews and look at what people have to say about them. And as you can see here, these guys are the top ones and reviews they have quite a bit. So I wouldn't be scared to use any one of these guys. It seems like that they're pretty professional, all of these guys. Um, online companies, online companies that serves like pretty much the, U the whole US and even Canada, Vista Print, Jukebox Print, Stomp Stickers. If it's applicable to within your city, definitely use these guys. I have, I've used them a lot of times already and they are, fabulous to work with. Now is the four printing tips that I want you to be aware of. First of all, make sure that you get the correct printer ready file from your designer because if it is not printer ready, then sometimes the dimension might be off. And if it's off, 
then that's a really, really big issue when you're printing, let's say a thousand copies of your menu, but then yet the dimension is completely off. You can't put it in your packaging and it's just a huge nightmare. So make sure that you have the print ready file from your designer. And if your designer knows only a little bit of what they're talking about, they would know how to get printer ready file for you. Okay. If they don't know how to get printer file for you, that means they're not a good designer. Okay. So don't work with those people. Second, confirm correct sizing and dimension with your designer and your print shop. This is something that is very, very, very important because imagine printing 200 units of the wrong size. What's going to happen? Who's going to be responsible? This is going to be a head to head fight and we don't want that. And that's the reason why you should always, always confirm the sizing with your designer and the print shop. Do a test run, even and this is something that we even we do all the time is to do a test run with colored printers. So what we do is when we have whenever we have designs, we print a co color copy and we cut it up in the shape we want it. And then we tape it on either our bottles or on our box to see how it turns out to see if it is going the way that we want it. And that's the reason why usually our prints, we don't have any problems whatsoever. Account for production and shipping times. This is something to pay attention to if you are working behind, if you're working with a launch schedule. So let's say you want to be able to give these boxes to influencers at the end of the month because you set everything up already. Then make sure you account for the production and the shipping time of the prints. And this is a big lesson that happened to us because we arranged to give our media boxes to influencers, to PR, to news outlets a week from today. And yet the box stickers takes two weeks to print from our current print shop. So what ended up happening is we had to pay triple the amount to get it printed locally. And now we have two sets of stickers because we need to make it, make it for the production and shipping time. And that's the reason why you're going to save a lot of money if you account for the production and the shipping time. Lastly, order based on your MOQs, minimum MOQs. Once again, what is MOQ? Minimum order quantity. Don't over order because strategies, tactics, your business shifts all the time, especially in the very beginning. And that's the reason why order the least amount. And when you run out, order again, even though the cost might be more because we're not looking into creating the product with the least cost right now. We're trying to create the best product whatsoever right now. And once we gain the traction, once people are loving it, then we focus on cutting on the expenses, cutting on our costs to truly make it profitable. So there you go, guys. Now it is your turn to apply all your designs to all your relevant digital platforms. This should take you only like 10, 15 minutes. Next up is to list all the material that you need printed and to add that printing cost into your variable costs and startup costs in the resources below.